Hello everyone. This is T set ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. Uh, today I'm playing a casual game and uh, this is a very different game. This is the first time I'm playing this game. It's Seafarers plus Cities and Knights. Um, dice rolls are balanced. Friendly Robber is active. Bank cards are showing. I think that is this is all good for me because I'm not very good when it comes to uh, cities and knights. And also, I haven't played seafarers in quite quite a long time. So hopefully, this game should be fun. And um, so, okay, I have to make the next placement here or after orange. So I understand that wood and sheep are both very important when it comes to both cities and knights as well as seafarer. So based on that, I think um, maybe 834 could be a decent spot. Nine five three is also a decent option here. And then maybe get a second settlement on A three four or A three ten or to be honest even on A four twelve. That way I will start with a city as my second placement. Yeah, there is not a lot of sheep available on this board. A decent amount of ore. And uh, yeah, so there are so. Black is the only one who is after me, so in any case, I will be able to get some wood. And based on that, I think I can just go for something like eight five three here, or maybe eight three ten is better. I'm not sure actually, but I'll go for I'll go with my initial feeling here, going for eight five three, decent production, grabbing the best ore. Wow, black goes for six four. I don't think that is a bad setup, especially if he starts with a yeah ship pointing downwards. He can explore the new island quite easily here. But based on that placement, I think I will be able to get eight three ten here. Yeah, I surely like that. Yeah, I did expect eight three ten to be open. Although eight and three are repeating numbers, I think it is still fine. It should be playable here. I'm just considering if I have anything else which might be better. Six, ten, eleven is also an option, but then not having wood could backfire. And here I will point upwards as well. Actually, I can point to the left. I don't think blue will go for it. Ten, twelve. Yeah, I will point to the right here. Sorry. Pointing to the left would not do anything because I'm anyways pointing to the left on my lower settlement. So okay, let's see. Here, everybody would want to go for the. city improvements which is for the sciences especially because everybody has a city not everybody but most of us have a city on the wood tile so sciences will be contested quite a bit i would also like to get an early city on 835 that way i can go for the politics line as well So now, actually, blue can just go for nine four five here. Actually, goes for six three. Wow! So this leaves nine four five open for me. And I don't mind the setup at all. Early seven. Um, let's see. Friendly robber is active. VP is needed to win is fourteen and. Uh, 
Yeah, and the game speed is very fast. I mean, the friendly robber being active doesn't make a lot of difference here, especially because uh, in cities and knights, the robber is disabled until the first barbarian attack. Yeah. Do let me know in the comment section as to how, what do you think about my placement and also about my gameplay. Uh, as I said, I am very rusty when it comes to Seafarer and even Seafarer, the Fog Island is the first time I'm playing this scenario and Cities and Knights is something that I am completely new to. So let's see how this game goes. I do roll a six here. I will go for the politics and then I think just getting an active knight here could be quite a decent setup. Yeah, I think uh, blue is going to have a little bit of a struggle and so will black. Trying to get a city will be difficult for everyone except for, sorry, trying to get an active knight will be difficult for people here. And I think I'll just end my turn. I also have to remember because this is a five player game, the special build phase is something that I need to take advantage of. Yeah. Here, the only thing that I do not like of this UI is I have to scroll here if I want to take a look at everyone. Maybe they can reduce the size and uh, fit five in one go. Yeah, there is the first five of the game. That is good for me because now I will be able to build a road. I would actually want the barbarian to attack very quickly here. Because the sooner the barbarians attack, uh, people will lose their uh, cities. And losing a city can be a very big deal in this game mode. Actually, I will request for a special build phase. Just so that I can build my road. Here it would not have made any difference because there is not much for me to do. Yeah, would like a few 8s and 3s as well. 10s I've been rolling, but that is fine. Let's see how this goes here. Black is building a... Trying to get a knight in this turn. Offering a 2 is to 1. Somebody, okay, so orange had to discard a few cards here. Okay. The only thing that I can think of is I will not have a lot of uh, trading opportunities because the sheep port is not useful for me and um, I don't have any 3 to 1 port which is accessible at least not easily wow black is able to get a knight here I get a medicine card I actually like this card quite a bit so if a couple of eights roll, I will be able to just get my, get a second city. And that would put me in a very, very strong uh, position here. Because early on, I don't think so. There is anybody who will be competing for the science uh, uh, improvements here.
so here I, yeah okay as expected blue will lose i did not expect orange to lose out on the city but orange does and the rest of us will be secure here and because i already have these cards i think i will just activate my knight and uh, end my turn five is quite nice so a single three will now actually give me a improvement on the trade side as well as a settlement a single eight three or a couple of eights would both be nice i don't think i can play the medicine card if it is not my turn even if it is the special build phase so if a eight if couple of eights roll i will have to hold on to my card let's see what red wants to do on this okay activates the knight which is completely fine another five rolls here i believe red will be very close to getting a city yeah so i think red is going to get a second city here yeah does put red in a very very strong position and because eights and threes haven't been rolling i haven't made any progress here which is unfortunate to say the least and just as i say it i roll an eight but i think targeting red is completely all right here i get more wheat not the card that i'm looking for but i can actually uh, build a wall so that my discard limit is now instead of 7 is now on 9 and yeah lots of sixes so far and very few eights and threes another 10 maybe i should have done a 4 is to 1 but it's fine at least i have a wall yeah so red will be able to get a trade improvement because on the 11 here i think black will be able to get one as well black already has one it wasn't a friendly robber active here so how was red able to place a settlement on is it because orange lost a city yeah i think that could be the case yeah that is the first three of the game and as i said i will immediately try and get a trade improvement here and i'll end my turn i do roll an 8 and because the board is blocked unfortunately i cannot get it but let's see um i will offer a trade and if this trade doesn't go through i mean just do a forest to one i don't want to give up my ore just yet and here maybe holding on to my cards are is fine i already have one active knight maybe i can just upgrade my knight here i think that would be better so now when we lose the fight both black and uh, or red might also have to lose out on a few cards orange loses out on cards again this is the second time orange will lose out on cards because of a 7 being rolled and wait what did black block himself
and solo blocks red i don't mind that at all okay i'm not sure if black will be able to get even if he activates a single knight doesn't he still lose a city when the barbarians attack or will he be able to upgrade his knight but if he is able to upgrade his knight and activate it red won't lose out on his city either so he gets another knight activates it okay is able to upgrade both his knights so yeah so red will not lose out on the city i was hoping for that to happen but a pretty strong move by black there another 10 here blue has been exploring the fog island quite a bit but uh, without ore i think it will be very difficult for blue to make a lot of progress quickly at least i get the merchant which allows me to do a 2 is to 1 and blocks blue wow very surprising okay so he's moving the robber as well i think will move to the yeah it does move to the eight tile so this is some part of the game which i don't understand i don't think red needed to spend a week just to activate his knight so i think here i can just play my medicine card and get a second city seems quite strong and i can also activate my knight here and end my turn so now i should be able to make quick progress on the science cards or the science tiles because every time a 9 or a 4 rolls i will be able to get um, yeah i will be able to build on the science improvements and because i already have one improvement on the merchant side i will need another cloth i believe yeah red takes the merchant here i'm not sure what my best move would be actually i think just getting a second knight is completely fine here i will activate it and i can slow down orange or blue but at this point i don't think i need to block either of them just by removing their uh, open road neither of them have a city here so they are anyway struggling i would rather want black or red to lose out on a road okay red builds a road settlement so that option is no longer there
so black continues to target red i don't mind that at all Here, my progress has surely been slow and okay blocks red i don't mind that at all again so the point i'm trying to make is although i have decent numbers and i've already built a few cities i haven't made any progress just yet Let's see what red does. I think red will be able to get a uh, improvement. Place the knight. Will block the eight again. Okay, move the ship. Yeah. So as expected, he actually gets the aqueduct, which is a very very strong uh, uh, improvement here. Here and it does roll, especially because it is blocked for red. It is even better. Would like a few threes and nines to roll. Yeah. So now this gives me the opportunity to play my. So. I think I'll just play this diplomat and remove an open uh, road. Also, with the cards I have in hand, I'm not sure what my best move would be. I can play or or gives me six ores here, and then I can actually get another city. I don't think that would be a bad move here. Yeah, I can get a city. I think uh, I'll just go for that choice. So here I already have a decent amount of cities. I can also take the merchant away from red, and because I'm not too worried about my city progress. or improvements i will try and get some merchant improvement although i do want to get aqueduct as well but because i have eight i am not too worried about it i should be able to get it sooner or later i'm not worried about getting a metropolis i'll be very disappointed if i lose the metropolis for the politics uh, one and black discovering ore over here is a little scary wouldn't want black to make a lot of progress Okay, he activates his knight. I don't think so. He needed to do that, but it's fine. Actually, maybe he did need to do that because I have three knights active. He wanted to get an extra victory point for the most active knights, or most knights defending. Wow, orange loses out on cards again. So, orange is having a wretched game here, to be honest. So yeah I think I'll just go for a special build phase I do have a couple of uh, politics coins yeah <laughs> as you can hear from my commentary itself I am very new to this so yeah I'll end my turn
Bläsern. Alchemist. So, and rolls an 11. Wow. So, it helps red and black quite a bit. Doesn't help me in any way, but uh, it's fine. Also helps orange. He gets a city now. So, I think he just needed some weed there to get a city. And, uh, yeah. These sixes are a little frustrating, but it's not like I ha can do anything about it. And there is no easy way for me to even get a settlement on a six anytime soon. Okay, plays a resource monopoly. I have the same card here. Wait, how was he able to do a 2 to 1 for brick? Yeah, do I, did I miss something here? Because I'm not sure how black was able to do a 2 to 1 for brick. Because he has a 3 to 1 port and the wood port, not a brick port, so... And he doesn't even have this cone thing. So I'm not sure maybe there is something that I'm missing about this setup. That said, because my production is quite decent, I will actually build a wall. Wouldn't want to have my cards discarded just yet. Because if a five rolls I will be over uh, the required limit easily and I'll also activate my knights. I'll just activate, I'll activate both the knights here which is completely fine. Finally an 8, it's been quite some time since an 8 has rolled but the wood being blocked is affecting me. It's making it very difficult for me to get an aqueduct. Okay, so red is stealing from me. Wow. That's a huge steal. Steals both my, or uh, uh, I don't know, the special resource cards. That said, red was very unfortunate when disclosing, discovering the new island. Especially when you compare it with black who got ore, a resource that he does not have any of. Wow, and gets a metropolis already. So red is in a very, very strong position. Here. I know everyone has at least some sheep in hand or even some wheat in hand but um, and neither of them help me too much but because I all wow that was nice actually I did not expect to get these many mm. So I'm not sure what my best move is over here. Maybe just building a road is fine. Yeah, and I was actually running out of time there, so I just needed to hurry a little. So now I have the option of upgrading my knights to level three. I think it was a mistake here because I should not have taken the politics improvement. I should have focused on getting either the trade or the science improvements. The eight wood has been blocked throughout the game. 
because in any case i will be getting a lot of ore and lot of politics improvement so should not have done that yeah mistake on my part for sure wow solo blocks me again i don't think that's the right move here i think red is in a much stronger position because he already has a metropolis here but actually 8 at this point is quite nice gives me the opportunity to get an aqueduct sooner than later although i'm not trying to get a metropolis on that side but getting a resource is quite nice and let's see if black has asked for a special build phase black hasn't so black might lose out on a city here okay does go for the special build phase and he gets wheat wow very lucky there uh, exploring a gold tile okay, what is this card steal one progress card for a man opponent yeah so that is for sure i'm going to target red there because uh, black activated the knight we will not and actually blue activated a knight so we will not be losing out on losing the war with barbarian i would have liked to lose that one so yeah, as I have already mentioned I will be targeting red here. Targeting blue doesn't make a lot of sense. And wow, I get either alchemist or uh the two x ore. I think two x ore is stronger at this point because I do produce a lot of ore. I think it will make it a lot easier for me to get the anyway. I get a metropolis here. and uh, yeah i think i'll just go for this so this way i will be able to trade as well because i'm getting a level 3 on my trade option so now for commodities i should be able to do a 2 is to 1 and uh, on the other hand i think i will try and get to the new island just explore a little because i have cards i will also do this also i can just build another road and get the longest road as well yeah the 3 is blocked i don't mind that at all i mean 3 isn't rolling enough so that is why i don't mind it not that i don't mind being blocked red plays an alchemist let's see and rolls an 11 so this is the second time alchemist has been played and excuse me 11 has been rolled wow both red and blue have been very unlucky exploring all these uh, empty islands yeah but i think red is very close to winning here uh, was it 13 okay 14 vp is needed to win the game Yeah, and these elevens will actually help him get a metropolis sooner than me for sure. Finally, Orange is able to get a city wall because of which he will be able to hold on to a few more cards. Hopefully, I can roll a seven. Instead, I roll a six. Yeah, so these sixes have been a bane of my existence for sure.
and now a three rolls when it is blocked so i do not get anything out of it yeah here i believe black will be able to get a metropolis on the trade tile yeah so now i won't be getting the longest road even if i build another road here and because 10s haven't rolled in quite some time i cannot even activate any of my knights so that is also a little scary because i might have to lose out on a city which will be very detrimental to my setup Let's see though. This is quite a long game. Well, this is good actually. So, if I'm able to last on my last until my turn, I can activate all my knights for free, which will be quite nice. I also have the option of upgrading my knights to level 3. I don't think I need to do that just yet. Yeah, but with only two turns, so with orange and me, I will be able to activate my knights unless I lose out on this card which I wouldn't want. Finally, a ten does roll here, but I don't need the wheat here just yet. Just hoping that I can roll a seven, just so that uh, there is some way to slow down red. Instead, I roll an eight. So I think I'll just activate all my knights, and I can also get a settlement. just wondering if there is anything which would be of better value to be honest there is nobody who is actually challenging for the politics improvement so maybe just getting a settlement should be all right here and now Yeah, I can actually try and explore the new island, but I think just uh, doing a two is to one. Yeah, I think I'll give up on some oh, some coins. This is makes a little more sense. At least try and get the aqua duct sooner than later. And maybe, okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Mm. and all these numbers are one this is not the first time that this has happened so that is a little unfortunate yeah let me just try and refresh the page and yeah so yeah that did work in and fixed all the issues and the only thing is the chat and the logs go away and here i mean let's see what red does blue has to block red here i mean if you if blue wants he can block black and me on the eight tile but stopping red is should be the topmost priority 
I mean, I am also very scary, right? Because I am also on 12 points. But he moves the pirate ship and not the three robber tile, which I would have liked. Yeah, I don't have any of these cards. I would have traded with blue for sure. Because blue getting on 910 is better than red getting on 910. I think red wins the game here because red will be able to get a metropolis. So yeah, I mean with that five, he can also get a city. Let's see what cards he has here. Get some monopoly on, there's a monopoly on, okay, so does get the settlement. And wow, takes away the five tile with an 11. To be honest, it isn't the worst case scenario. And I'm okay. So, wow, this is something that I completely forgot about. Why didn't I unblock myself by playing the, by blocking the knight? I mean, this thing. So here, when it says force all players, it is just uh, red, but I think I will still do that. And then activate my knight. And then I'm not sure how do I move this knight around. Yeah, so this is something that I don't know how to do. I'm giving red back some break. Okay, he gives me a coin which I don't think is a bad option here for me. And this way I will be able to get a, I don't think I will be able to get a um, resource. I mean, sorry, yeah, I think, actually I ran out of time there, wow. Unfortunate. Maybe I would have won the game. Yeah, maybe. Here with the cards I have in hand, there is nothing that I can do. Yeah, that is the downside of having a very fast game. Hopefully black is able to take the longest road. Moves the robber. Let's see, I'm offering break, but uh, not sure if black will take it or even read it. I think I'll accept any trade that black offers here. Yeah. 
आई डोंट माइंड दिस एट ऑल लेट ब्लैक टेक द लॉन्गेस्ट रोड एंड इफ अ सेवन इज इंट रोल्ड आई थिंक दिस विल सिक्योर अ विक्ट्री फॉर मी blue plays a road building instead but i think don't think that will change anything over here i don't think so the game will last until my turn unless yeah so now it is even more difficult for the game to last yeah red just wins the game here and yeah i could have won the game on my turn even last turn or maybe i could have done something but yeah the timer is a little difficult yeah sixes did hurt a lot eights also did roll quite a bit but amount of resource income blocked yeah for me was the highest and i still don't know how to in a, i mean use my knight to remove the robber i forgot that for a long time and then when i remembered i could not do that either but uh, yeah that is how this game is i mean fun game there is a lot of complexity to it lot of things to learn maybe i should have played it at a, a reasonable pace especially because i am still new and learning and because of these eights i think uh, the Uh, this paper was the most uh, amongst all these three i should have had a few more coins but uh, did not get them yeah i don't think the rolls were in my favor yeah very few fours nines did roll quite a bit fives eights i don't think so rolls were bad i mean rolls were set to balanced so it would have done that anyway um yeah here i think black instead of building three roads he should have connected it would have secured the longest road it did not happen and i could have gotten the merchant i'm not sure in this turn i should have i would have surely gotten it uh if the game lasted for like two more rounds but that did not happen um yeah that's it for now and see you again in the next video bye bye